Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. Now, you guys might recognize this knife. I did a review on it a long, long time ago. Our friend John from Minnesota gave this to me. This was a tracker style knife. It had a big notch in the top where he ground out the saw. He didn't like that. And I didn't like the notch. So today I, I ground the I ground the notch off the top and up here it had a a big dip with some jipping in it or whatever. I ground that off. So now it's got a nice flat edge on the top, pretty flat, it's a little crooked yet, but it's the best I could do. Now I'm using a, my tool of choice is a right angle grinder, and I use a worn out flap sandpaper wheels on it, and that's hot, the knife was completely covered with rust, and I cleaned it up, and then I got the edge back a little bit, it's got just a slightly little wire burr there, which is fine. Um, I need to get a strap on it. I put it on a grinder for just a cut or in the buffer for a couple seconds, and uh, I use the right angle grinder to again to, to get a burr on one side. Then I flip it over and I take the burr off and that puts it on the other side, and then really light back and forth two or three more times until you can barely feel any kind of a wire burr on it. And then I take it on the buffer for about a minute at the most, three or four passes. Mosquito three or four passes on each side and it is uh, you can't see my leg here but just absolutely shaving sharp um, there's my leg right there don't want to cut myself here as I'm doing this but look at that I mean that's just that's beyond razor sharp guys and I know I know this isn't the right method to do it as far as the knife guys go, using a right angle grinder and then and put it on the buffer to get my miracle miracle edges on it. Um, I should be using a stone, but I have I've had no I have no luck at all on stones with cur with curved blades. Uh, and then it has a brass end here. It has the the goofy file work on the back of the handle on the back of the spine. I can't stand that. And then I thought maybe these were plastic. Um, scales, but they're bone. You could, as soon as I, as soon as I smoothed off the back and cleaned it off, man, it smelled like the dentist's office, you know. So it's definitely bone. So it's some kind of antler or something like that. And it's got a. If you can see it there or not, it's got. I think they call it a, a wire. Damascus. I, I thought. It was from a custom shop, but I think I've seen it. I've seen these on on uh, Amazon, different places, almost the exact same pattern. But could be could be for anywhere. I have no idea. But it's, it's a pretty good knife right now. Um, I need to, need to get a even though even though it's Damascus, I need to put a patina on it. That much is for sure, and then keep it oiled up because this thing rusts like crazy. And I, again. I don't understand the tracker blade style. I think it's absolutely stupid. Um, I see absolutely no purpose for it whatsoever. And then the big curved part for skinning and chopping, and then on the top would be a saw. I, I just think it's absolutely retarded. But that's that's me. I, you know, I just I just don't get it. Tom Brown thinks he's in another world or something like that. I don't know. But I I think it's I think it's retarded. But some people love it. I guess I don't know. I, I can't stand it. But the, the knife right here now, this is a pretty practical knife. This little bottom edge here is razor sharp also. Then I got the nice big curved skinning edge, which is razor sharp. I don't have anything to skin here. So for me, it's just a good, gonna be a good work knife. It came with a really cool uh, leather sheath. Dang, mosquitoes here, guys. Came with a really cool leather sheath that can you can uh, carry it, scout carry if you want to. It fits my BK2 perfectly, so I'll save that. 
And I'll probably just make a, a PVC sheath for this so I can carry it around when I want to use it. But I, I really like it. I mean, it fits, it fits good in the hand. The handle is a little, little too narrow. It needs to be needs to be about twice as thick to fit a normal guy's size hand. But um, I think John got it because he liked the way it looked at the time. And I don't blame him because they, they do look kind of cool. Especially in Damascus. There's the pattern right there. See that? They call that the wire pattern or something like that. Damascus. That's pretty cool. But I can already see I can already see rust on it. And I just I just I just ground this down ten minutes ago. And I can already see it always already feels like there's rust coming back on it again. So I need to get a patina on it real soon. I think I'll use a vinegar patina or a black rust patina, one of the two. There you can kind of you can kind of see the patina there on the, the short blade. And there's the there's the wires again, see that? The I'm just looking at my monitor, guys. I'm trying to see if I can get you get you to see it there a little better, but there you can see it pretty good there. But it's a practical blade now. It looked kind of goofy with the big notch in the front where the saw was at. He didn't like the saw at all because it didn't saw. And I actually believe the saw on these isn't for sawing wood. It's for like scaling fish and things like that. That's what it's for. And then it had this real big, real big groove up here for like jimping or whatever with for, for your thumb. And I just ground it all flat all the way off, so it looks it looks really nice. But thanks so much, John, for the knife. It's going to be a nice knife to screw around with. And again, once I get a good coating on, I used it for a little while when I first got it. I didn't like it at all. Um, but I'll, I'll use it. I'll use it now because it's it's cool and because John gave it to me. And it's got a some kind of a bone handle and brass. It looks cool. The grinding on the back. I just I never I don't understand that either. Just another place for stuff to get stuck in, but it's a style. Anybody knows the benefits of this this straight part and this curved part? I don't I don't get it. But again, that's me. So take care everybody. Here we throw it down here in the here's the we'll do a couple tests here. Here's the Donnie B all day drop test. <laughs> Drops real good. It's a soft stump, though. Throw it down. It sticks real nice throwing. It sticks real nice throwing. It's it's, a, it's it's not a bad it's not a bad knife. I mean, it's it's well balanced, and for what it is, it's fantastic. I mean, I I love Damascus. Anything anything the Damascus style, I love. So, take care, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day, no more. Go out, have some fun. Watch your six really close. And be safe. Don't take things for granted. wonder if anybody's got a pile of rocks like that in their shop, huh? There's at least two, 3,000 pounds of stone there, all underneath there, all on top of there. Take care, everybody. See you next time.